Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Murphy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Murphy's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and the clicker and treats that we're using to work with him, that's the training equipment that we're using. I'm using a regular six-foot web training leash. For the most part, I'm going to keep the bulk of the leash in my left hand because I'm using a clicker and treat with my right hand. And she, he also has a training collar, so you'll be introduced to all of this training equipment when you pick him up tomorrow and you'll be taught how to use it properly. Now he's sitting very nicely at my left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking, and the command is Murphy heel. And you step off. Murphy heel, come on. Good boy. His job at this point is to stay with me, not forging ahead or lagging behind. And when I stop my feet, he's been taught to sit. I click, and I give him a treat for a good job. And we're going to demonstrate that again for you. We're working indoors because he does better indoors than outdoors, although you're going to do both at home. Murphy, heel. Come on. Good boy. Good heel. His job is to keep his shoulders next to my left leg. And when I stop my feet, he's been taught to sit. So when you're walking down the street, he should be with you. He shouldn't be pulling out in front of you dashing out into traffic, jumping on the person you're talking to. When you stop, he should sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. And the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit, stay. Stay is a hand and voice command. And because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. No, stay. You can practice this command indoors as well as outdoors. You're going to start out in about 30 seconds to 45 seconds, and you're going to lengthen out the amount of time and the distance that you can go. When you return back to him, you simply walk back to heel, back to where you started, and you're ready to go again. Murphy, heel. Good boy. Good heel, buddy. Good boy. We use that click to keep his attention focused. Stay. Now this time we're going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. You do use his name on this command. Murphy, come, good boy. And he should come and sit right in front of you. No more bouncing off you, lunging on you, jumping all over. Murphy, heel. We'll show that to you again. Now heel. Nice automatic sit, stay. You don't always have to use your, your treats and your clicker, okay? Pay attention. Murphy, come. Good boy. Come in and nice sit. And that definitely deserves a click and a treat. Now the next commands that we're going to be demonstrating for you are his down commands. The first one is going to be a down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, you're going to take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground, and give the one word command to down and stay. Your long down stay when you're practicing at home. There was a treat on the floor. I was waiting for him to find it. Sit. Down. No. <laughs> no. Stay. When you're practicing at home, your long down stay ultimately is going to be five minutes. That's going to take a couple months. So get him where he holds it comfortably for 45 seconds to a minute and then add from there. Come. Let's do this again. You're getting sloppy. Murphy, come. Okay. And whenever he starts to throw a temper tantrum, just go back to doing something that he does well, like healing, and start all over. Sit. Down. No. Down. Stay. He's still fresh. He's still Murphy. 
There's still Murphy in there. <laughs> Murphy, come. Good boy. Good come. Now we have demonstrated for you healing, which is walking nicely on a leash, sitting automatically when you stop, sit and stay, sit, stay, come, and down. These are the exercises that you're going to practice with him at home for the first week or so, and then we want to get a report on how you're doing so that we can continue to help you to move forward with him. We'll have a packet of information for you tomorrow, sample schedule, everything. You'll have a chance to ask questions. We've enjoyed having him. He certainly is challenging, but he's come a long way, and we're very proud. And thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.